it's not about what my full intention is. Because she had success there. How huge is that? get her more into the joints here. So I want to get her, hold on, I know, that's where you go. I want to get her more onto hands and knees if I can. There you go. So she, there. That's a little bit. So she's got elbows. Because of her, there you go, there you go, I know. Let's go back down, let's go back down on your hands. Let's go back down on your hands. I know, I know, I know, I know. With your permission, we'll go back down on your hands. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. You see, because her age, she's how many months? How many months is she? Uh, she's nearly two and a half. Okay. She's what? Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. Okay. So, because of her age, she is ready to get up. Mm -hmm. She wants to be up so much. So, she doesn't want to go through so many of the processes. Tipsy. She's so bright. She's so um, smart in her nervous system. She knows she wants to be upright. But, we still have, we want to give her that uprightness as an enticement. But I want her to get that going on the hands and knees also. So she gets the feedback into her hands, into the wrists, and into the shoulders, into the spine, and into the rib cage. And then when she comes up, the head will go here instead of here. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm. Because it'll give that feedback of, I know where this is. Mm. I'm holding her in that press here. I'm holding her pelvis. So it's not that I'm holding her waist. I'm holding, do you feel the bones? Yeah. Okay, some people call those the hip bones. It's not. The hips are in here. But it's the iliac crest. It's the crest of the pelvis. And I'm holding that really well because it's just a perfect handle. It's a perfect handle. And then I'm guiding her with movement. Look. Can you see a little bit of movement? But the movement is with the intention of moving it all the way through up to the top part of her body. I want her to get the feeling that you can go to the hands, to the hands, or to the to the arms to support her on the table. Does that make sense what I'm doing? Yeah. It's going to be a lot of work doing that and you just need to play with her with it until she can explore and find it there. Because then you'll have more of those incidences when she gets on all fours and goes into her toy box to take out toys. So I'm doing movements. It's not a technique. The Feldman Kreis method is not a technique of saying just make circles, just whatever. It's I'm showing her, which is why it's harder to teach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why the training programs are four years. But what I want you to get is that I'm giving her feedback in there. So I'm looking to see how many different ways 
show her the movement through her pelvis and how it will connect all the way up into here so that she gets that coordination in her upper body. Mm -hmm. Not strength. Mm -hmm. Strength will happen when it's being used. Mm -hmm. See another angle? It's going right into that right shoulder. Right? Mm. Do, 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 do. Now we can get it from the back. So some therapies, they're thinking, okay, rock the pelvis because we want to get GABA, right? The nice neurotransmitter. I'm saying rock your pelvis in Feldenkrais terminology or thinking, thinking. Rock the pelvis because I'm looking to see how does that translate all the way up here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not thinking pelvis. Pelvis. I'm thinking how does that pelvis translate up to here? To the so whole you body. What? To the whole body, not to just... the whole body. And then how can I get a message across? What message am I looking to get across to her because I'm moving the pelvis like that? Because I'm moving the pelvis to get up here, right? Because look. If my pelvis is always rocked back to the, look at how I'm going to sit, mm -hmm. right? So if my if someone shows me, look, you can go here, but if they just show me that posture, it's not very meaningful to me. But if they take me here, here, kind of like you go to an exercise, a movement class, and you get all this kind of movement, by the time you finish, you found the place in the middle. Because really, it's less effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of effort. That's tiring. Mm -hmm. So being in the middle is somewhere where it's more balanced. Mm -hmm. That's what we're showing her. Yep. There's, and there's intention to the movement. There is intention to the movement. It's not just the movement. And that's a big deal to get that across to Annabelle. That's mm -hmm. a big lesson for her to learn. That's one of her bigger lessons. Mm -hmm. Because when that comes through, it's going to be humongously dramatic for her, the changes that you see. I still remember like I don't know how many months ago she was sitting in a cube chair and she leaned forward and I wasn't there to catch her and kaboom she went smack oh, onto her face because right. she didn't have the protectives to right and that's what we're showing her she and but now she's the arms are coming out more and more yep 